Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie Borcher's Special. This fly was put together by Ernie Borcher of Michigan in the 1940s or the early 1950s. Ernie passed in 1952. I've also seen it referred to as Borcher's Drake and it can imitate a number of the darker mayflies. The body was originally tied in condor quill, but today turkeys used. Tied in sizes 14 through 18 for the early season mayflies like the Hendrickson and in sizes 10 through 12 for the big later season mayflies. So here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is TMC 100 BL, that's their standard dry fly hook, barbless. This is a size 12 and our thread is going to be some UTC 70 denier in black and we'll get our thread started about an eye length and a half behind the hook eye. Go back about halfway down the hook shank to form a bit of a base for our wing. The wing for this fly is uh, a well-used hen cape in the color done. And we just want the very small feathers up at the neck and pick two. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of the little things. And we're going to tie these in opposing each other. So the shiny side of the feathers are going to be against each other. So we'll tie these in with a pinch wrap. And we'll run our thread back about halfway, cut off the excess. Bring our thread back forward. Jump it in front of the wing and form a thread dam to help stand the wings up. And a couple of cross wraps to further separate the wings. Like so. There. We're going to run our thread back to where the barb of the hook would have been. And we're going to tie in our tail here. It's going to be some pheasant tail fibers. Just need five or six. We'll pull those out so that they're even with the stem and pull them off. And this has a longer tail than some, so it's going to be a little bit over a hook's length. Tie that in right on top. Those mayflies have a big tail, a lot of them. This fly has a rib. We'll tie that in next. And for the rib, we're going to use some extra small ultra wire in copper. Tie this in right behind the wing on the near side and run our thread all the way back to the base of the tail. And the body of the fly is going to be made from turkey. So we will pick out four or five barbules worth off the side of the stem and cut those off. And we'll tie those in by the tip. Neaten that up a little bit. Run our thread all the way up to just behind the wing. 
and grab our hackle pliers. And make wraps forward. This turkey feather gives the body a real nice mottled appearance. Well, that looks pretty good. Get rid of our excess. In our rib, our copper wire, we're going to wrap that in the opposite direction that we wrap the turkey. So we'll just make some nice, even, open spiral turns. And tie that off. And last, we're going to tie in our hackle. It's going to be a combination of grizzly and brown. This is actually Coachman's brown. So we'll prepare our feathers by snipping off some barbules on either side of the stem, leaving some little stub material there to give us some purchase for our thread when we tie it in. And we're going to tie these ends shiny side out, and we'll tie them in both together, but we'll wrap them separately. Run our thread up to our eye. And I think I'm going to use my hackle pliers for this grizzly feather. And we'll make two or three turns behind the wing. And pull our wing back. Make two or three turns up front. Capture our hackle. Tie it off. Our excess, and now we'll take the coachman and we'll capture that. Cut off our excess. Pull everything back, form a small head, take our whip finish tool, four or five turn whip finish, see it or not, cut our thread. And a little head cement. This is Loon's water-based. There, our fly is complete. Please feel free to leave comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all of the current content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.